Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here. Today is the 7th of October 2022. We are available on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Prince Miller Entertainment. Our Facebook group is uh, Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Our Twitter handle is uh, P Miller ENT. Yes, that's our Twitter and our side side is uh, Prince Miller Podcast. And uh, so guys, our neighboring uh, Zambia has come to the rescue of Zimbabwe with uh, 200,000 tons of maize to feed millions currently facing hunger in the country. Plans by Zimbabwe to import uh, 200,000 tons of maize from Malawi in May did not bear fruit after the deal was contested by the Malawi parliament in long way because tender procedures had reportedly been floated. Zambia's Consumer Association confirmed the maize deal. According to the information, it's more like a controlled export because we have some companies which have memorandums of understanding with Congolese and Zimbabwean companies in order to fulfill the MOUs, the Zambian Consumer Board said in response to questions from Newsday. Insiders close to Miller's and the Zimbabwean government says there have been handles around importation of Malawian and Zambian maize. The Malawi delivery is proving to be a problem, but the Zambian one will soon be here because all permits have now been finalized. A source close to the law means said. A high-ranking official at the Grain Marketing Board said the maize is being imported by the Grain Miller's Association of Zimbabwe, GMAZ, contacted for comment and the and Agriculture Ministry Secretary John Basera said this maize is certainly not being imported by the government it is to be private players he said Zimbabwe had enough grain we have 1.5 million tons of maize from harvest this year plus 300,000 tons in small grain then 500,000 tons carry over stock from last year that puts us at 2.3 million tons of grain versus our demand of 2.2 million tons Basera said he said millers will fail to fund 40% of their local requirements locally we are importing grain from neighboring countries. Efforts to get an official comment from Jamie GMAZ President Tafazwa Musarara were fruitless. Despite gobbling billions in various agricultural handouts and subsidy schemes like the presidential input scheme from Vudza and the Command Agriculture Program, Zimbabwe remains food insecure with 5.4 million, 36% of its citizens facing hunger in the current season, according to the World Food Program. Zambian social media influencer and politician with the ruling United Party for National Development, Joseph Kalebwe, last Monday tweeted, tons of our Zambian maize will be received by our friends. The Command Agriculture Publicity proponents on Thursday, congratulations to our farmers who keep Zambia feed, exporting the rest to other lands and bringing the export money home for further growth. And so guys, that's the latest here. And so we're going to keep in the loop here on our daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Yes, uh, Zambia, Malawi, I mean, we used to... Um, export maize to Zambia to Malawi but it's vice versa now because most of our farmers work up by Zimbabwe but in Zambia and watch in South Africa and uh, so this is a daily news breaking news everyday news we'll be keeping you guys in the loop here but I take any new information but according to some sources they are saying that uh, Zambia will rescue Zimbabwe with uh, 200,000 tons of maize uh, some people are saying tea no uh, there are private players who are importing this maize, like the GMAZ, which is uh, Grain Millers Association of Zimbabwe. And so, daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Thank you for listening and watching. Bless up.